Rachel's been kind enough to point out that I unmuted the wrong mic. So hello and welcome to Lego with Kia. <laughs> Usual shonky start to things. Um, green screen fun. I hope you like the new background. Uh, I probably won't use it again, but you know, um, we'll see how well it works in the next stage. Um, the Lego I'll be doing is Lego Creator Pirate Roller Coaster Set 31084. Here we go. Um, which has now been nicely organised. I sat there and... Uh, are you having a... Um, I'm hearing things from the other room. Well, I'm going to crack on. Getting a little bit of phase, phasing out with the, the green reflections from the other side, but we'll not worry too much about that. Now, I didn't have the sense to repack this in the right order, so it's still in reverse order, unfortunately. Um, so let's swap. I'm going to have to mess about with all the OBS, all the screen settings and things, but um because well i only just 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 managed to get it set up um oh what's rattling around in there there's an extra piece well we'll we'll see maybe it was one i found and decided well I'll just pop that on one side when I'm hunting for a bit, maybe Rachel shout through and go, what about the extra piece? <laughs> okay, steps one to 37, 38 to 91, 92. Uh... Okay, so there's my boxes all in order. I'll pop them down there out of the way. Um... Oh, and I need, I need my tray, I think, really. Um... I think that's in the other room still. Perhaps you'll bring that through for me, Rachel, while I mess about with some camera views. Okay, so there we go, main view. You see, and I'm not in the way. Um, so let's swap these two round. Um, so overhead can stay, face needs to move, side needs to, oh, I've, here we go, transition. Um, uh, I don't want all those things on the tray, if that's your question. <laughs> um, so why won't you move over, oh, because I've done the wrong one. Overhead needs to move up. And I need to move down. Thank you, my lovely. Um, so let's transition to that. Lock those up. There we go. Okay. Oh, maybe I'll move myself some. I can make myself a little bit bigger now. Little Kia can be a bit bigger. Uh, since my background doesn't block a load of the screen. There we go. How's that? Um, and this one might as well come over here like this. There we go. Okay, hello Rachel. Um, oh, I see, your computer was having an issue. Okay, that's why you were... Had you just removed that incidentally? 
Oh, I see. <laughs> this is your taxi taxi box. Um. Okay, dokie. So, um, what do you think of the new view? Uh, other viewer that I'm going to assume is mum. No comment, must love it. <laughs> okay, so let me just finish faffing with these. I've, I mean, I've got other views, but this is the one, the main one I was going to use. So, um, yeah, I'll leave it at that for now. Um, and uh, maybe I'll have another bit of a moment faffing around with OBS later on if I feel the need. Um, I'm just going to make a bit more space under here. Um, Okie dokie. Oh, so I still, I don't, I think all the, all the minifigures I popped in the final box because they were already separate. Oh, this, this chroma key seems to have got worse. It's like the light, light changes very slightly and the key goes bad. Um, oh well. Uh, I'm going to try not to worry about it. It's just really bugging me now, all uh, this line here that's suddenly appeared. Oh, I know what I can do about that. Um, I might just end up getting my arm cut off a bit, but... Yeah, the key just seems to go a bit crazy sometimes. It's definitely ebbing and flowing, and I'm not changing any of those settings yet. Um, what I was going to do... Just trim that window a little bit. There we go. That's better. Um, okay, so I've already done some steps. I've got these the wrong way around, haven't I? I've already completed some steps um, last time before I got too frustrated with the disorder of the pieces. So let's, this is the piece I was working on. There's the, mm, I forget what it was. Oh, it was the balloon stand, wasn't it? I don't know what happened to the other balloon. That is. I don't think I need my mouse anymore, so let's chuck that out of the way as well. Okay, and that box can go. Yeah, the, that's it. It was mainly for this overlapping view that, for the green screen to stop my uh, background from cutting out too much of too much of the action, uh, so to speak. <laughs> it's not the most action-packed stream. Let's face it. So, 
looking at this, it would seem I'd got to, as far as step five. Oh yes, I remember because I was looking for the two by one gray and I had buried it. Oh, I nearly forgot to start my time lapse. Um, okay. That's that rolling now. Let's check the view. Yep. Okay. So it's going to very much look like I skipped the beginning, but only very slightly. Um, that's probably nothing important. Well, I'm busy, unfortunately. Oh, I remembered there was some stuff I was going to sort out today. Oh well. Um, This is going a lot more smoothly. Much more the sort of pace I'm used to being able to do. Um, okay, so this is a funny little assembly. Oh, and I'm finding my first instance of not having given myself the right piece, am I? Well, that's difficult. <laughs> Uh, it did get confusing, right, so the last box should have all the extras in it that I came across at the end and went, oh no, why have I got all these pieces left? See, here we go, there's the piece I'm looking for in my little bag of, <laughs> I say little bag of extras, there's loads of bits in here. Um, but I know where to look. And that has got all the minifigures in it as well, so if I fancy doing those later, I can. Um, excuse me. Um, where am I at? Oh, little grabby thing. No. And then a one by one square in white. Oh, I've, there should be a yellow under there. Oh. <laughs> I can't separate it. No. God damn it. There we go. Oh, I'm sorry if you can hear a whirring in the background. I forgot and left my uh, battery charger for my drill running. And obviously we've got the fridge as well. Although that's just clicked off. Everything whirs though. My PC whirs as well, of course. Um, okay. That's, that's, that's how it's supposed to be. So that goes on there, then. One of these back here and brick side out. Some grey 
three tiles for the sides, very nice. go. <laughs> I don't know, I always feel like a bit of a mon monkey when I scratch my head in that fashion. Sort of Lovell and Hardy as well, isn't it? See, it was clearly this this block of steps I wasn't paying very much attention on. I always forget to look at the bit that tells you um, this bit, uh, bit at the top of the instructions, so oh, you can't see it. Um, this section up here where it tells you what's in the step, um, what bricks are in the step. And that always le you know, if I paid attention to that, I wouldn't get led astray quite so often by missing bits. <laughs> but I'll just look at the picture and see what has been added. <laughs> It's, I think it is just because that's how the instructions used to work and I'm, I was programmed at an early age into my Lego habits. Okay, two white tiles to level that up. Ah, hello, man. Um, I'm sorry you've uh, struggled to get online or get on the stream. Um, I didn't set up a schedule and didn't start broadcasting till quite late, so that may have uh, caused you some problems. But welcome, I'm pleased you're with us now. Um, you've not missed a great deal, just the introduction of the set. Oh, and I've just realised I'm building... That's Let's reframe this slightly. There we go. Um, so I've got a green screen that I'm using today. You missed uh, a good bit of faffing about with that. I don't understand why it seems to change how much it's, what the light is. I, uh, yeah, I've been faffing with it. It's doing my head in, but uh, I decided to start ignoring it. Um, but yeah, it, it mostly works quite well. I don't know if it's my shadow, perhaps it's my shadow that's causing um, the speckliness. Um, but yeah, it seems to ebb and flow in its effectiveness, unfortunately. I need to have it further away from me and lit better if I want to do it properly, I think. But it was just, because we had the green up for St. Pat's before, I thought, oh, well, I'll just, I'll just try it. I'll just have a little experiment with green screen and then spent ages messing about getting it set up a bit more smoothly. And actually, I think it was less effective. Um, but it, it, it is what it is. Um, but maybe next week uh, I'll... Um, I'll do a best job with it. You'll, we'll see. It'll either be here, be here better, or not at all, I suppose. Um, right, have I done all the steps? Yes. Um, so add on this base plate now. We've um, spent the last couple of days where I spent a day washing the Lego and Rachel and I have spent a couple of days sorting the Lego that uh, I bought on eBay. Um, which is loads of friends and elves so I'm not that keen on building the sets. But, um, <coughs> excuse me, there's lots of 
wood coloured and um, stone shade uh, bricks. So there's a lot of stuff for kind of creative MOC, uh, my own creation uh, type builds, building structures. Um, so it's good for that. Rachel's kindly pointed out that I left my microphone off. Um, I was just talking about the green screen. I uh, I, yeah, I, I just wish the key was better, was what I was saying. Um, but it's down to bad lighting, which obviously I'm not very happy about. <laughs> Good lighting is supposed to be what I can do, but I rushed it, so I'm going to let myself off on that basis. Because the alternative to quick lighting is uh, um, on time. Oh, well, I wasn't on time either, but. At least it was on the right day. <laughs> okay, this piece goes over here. And we're done with this page. Okay. Um, what's next? One of these goes there. One of those and one of those. We are gradually learning some of the names for the pieces. Um, though Rachel's done more looking up than I have. <laughs> Excuse me. Um... Okay. I, there we go. Lost my train momentarily there. Oh, lost my roller coaster train. Um, shame Gaz isn't uh, on this stream. I should uh, give him a buzz, say, check it out, because. Um, I'm missing another piece. He's well into roller coasters. Big fan of the old roller coaster. Not so much a fan of the roundy roundy whirly whirly rides, from what I understand, which I can sympathise with. Right. I uh, seem to be missing a piece, but it's not very important, so. Oh, no, it's just, it's just, a, yeah. So I, it's what I get for looking at the picture instead of following the instructions. 
Um, so that goes over that void, it would seem. Okay. Fair enough. So that one goes there. I never know whether it's uh, whether I should be reading out the chat that you write because I feel like it does get preserved on the recording. So if you wanted, you know, if a viewer wanted to watch the live chat contemporaneous with the video, they could. Um, the conventions definitely read out the comment that you're responding to. So maybe I should get into that habit, but given my limited audience at the moment, it doesn't really seem worthwhile. <laughs> I am uh, continuing to consider a switch to Twitch. Sorry, that was a bit loud there. Um, I shall adjust my level slightly. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'll, ha I'll, I'll have to learn some more stuff because there's a bit of an expectation of on-screen graphics and shit. <laughs> I don't know. It's it's definitely a different medium. <clears throat> um, so the rules of presentation are slightly varied, but fortunately, I have a very helpful friend in Gaz who has got some experience in that department. Um, so I should presumably be uh, willing to help me out. Okay, so those pieces were already in there. Nearly done with this section. Oh, have I made an error? I've made a slight error. two first and where's the arch go so oh, there's three of those pieces to place the arch goes across the water like so um that goes there stud goes there Hey, oh. um, bear with me a moment, I'm just going to grab a drink, uh, but I shall stay connected to the microphone given I deliberately put a long cable on it for just this purpose. Huh. You get to hear the delightful sounds of me opening a packet of Coca-Cola, not a sponsor. Just fuel. All right, so let's get rid of my teacup. Oh, I could have gone across and turned that battery off as well. Never mind. I 
couldn't have done that more prominently in camera if <laughs> they were a sponsor. I think it does only count as product placement if they pay me though. And they definitely don't pay me. That'd be a bloody good sponsor to get, wouldn't it? Oh yes, we have a sponsor the Olympics, other major sporting events, and Lego with Kia. <laughs> So apparently I want two of these, um, and I've only got one, so hopefully there'll be another in here. Oh, there is not. Hmm. Excuse me. Oh, now I did feel like I had a point where I swapped a wooden one for grey one by accident, but I don't know where I would have put the wooden one in here. Um, Rachel, if you could furnish me with another one of these. Uh, there we go. That would be much appreciated. I think we have got a couple spare. Okay, that's back in focus. Um, where's it going? Here, and the other one wants to go there. Um, it'll probably turn up. Um, oh, what? I really did a rubbish job of doing this. I better let Rachel sort out the parts for me next time. She might actually get it right. <laughs> there we go. Um, oh, I hear the sounds of Lego being extracted in the other room. That's positive. Okay, let's just wait for the part fairy. Oh dear, looking in another box, okay. We'll come back to that bit. I'll take a wooden coloured one if that's uh, what you can find, my love. Oh, I see, I was, I got this all wrong. Hmm. Thought we had some of those, but. Gosh, there's a lot of cat hair on this. I think I've got one of these extra instead of the other piece because I'm pretty sure, yeah, this is the final step. So I bet I have got the right piece somewhere in a later step. Can I have any two by one, please? Take a moment. I'm 
second, have a look at the next step. Right, it wants to go in there. So it could be grey, ideally. Oh, okay, thank you. <laughs> a selection box of appropriate pieces from the parts fairy. Thank you, my darling. There we go. That one will go in nicely there. That's very appropriate, I think. Oh, shall I? Yeah. I was going to say, shall I put it somewhere more accessible, but I'll do fine. These two can just go on one side. Um, okay, next box. I'm going to have to separate my parts and my building shortly, I think. So let's get the bag of extras out. We'll pop the final stage away. Um. Right. Yes, this is a larger box. Um, oh, I'm all in a pickle. Right. I can't decide how to have this organised. It's the trouble with the big books. <laughs> they take up so much space in and of themselves. Right, I don't need my phone. Okay, we'll see how I get on. I'll look this way around. How about that? That seems like the sensible way. Okay. I'll just to focus slightly onto the model. Okay. Step 38, two arches, two slopes. Two arches, two slopes. And look, there's a piece that's like, oh, they, they've got their step, use in this step though. So that's going across that piece of water and across there and then they're going back to back here like so this piece this piece and these two pieces Okay, loads of wood. One of those. One of those. This one and this one. Oh. Okay, okay. And this massive piece to fill in the corner.
Oh, I'd started well with my gathering the pieces for each individual step. One grey stud, maybe that's this grey stud that's in here. So I think I use, I probably used the same bad system for <laughs> sorting out the parts as I do for building, because I'm a creature of bad habits. Okay, so one, two, one of those, one of those, and this piece. Big stack of yellow ones now then, four, four on top. Yes, unfortunately I haven't done any uh, thinking about interesting things to talk about this week. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> so I've got nothing that entertaining to say. Uh, Life's so dull and I've been ignoring the news because it makes me cross. Okay, first piece of track. Oh, there we go then, Mum. Yeah, a, a 90 degree roller coaster bend in the station. I don't know if we've got any orange bricks. I better find something else interesting for Rachel. Oh, that really dull but crucial brick that she brought me. That's definitely a brick for Rachel. Mm. I have got the LEDs, which I um, had a play with the other day. I haven't unwound them all, so I'm not sure about how long the wires are, but they are good fun. Because it's the hospital set, uh, they've got some flashing ones that were intended for the ambulance, presumably. Um, but I think I'm going to make a bar and have a have a, a dance floor with some flashing lights. But that and the... Um, I'm going to use a lot of orange in the construction is about as far as I've got with the plan so far. But I'm just letting it... Um, I don't know, percolate or something, <laughs> gestate, perhaps. There's another, there's probably a few other eight <laughs> based wo uh, suffixed words that could do the job as well, but you get the vibe. Um, yeah, so I'm just sort of... But we've got lots of um, the sort of grubby handle parts that uh, are like the 90 degree version of these hooks. And, um, and they're used to great effect to sort of create nice carved stone type effect for Victorian. <laughs> um, Victorian style building, so I think it's going to be like a as if it's a Victorian building that's been painted orange So it's going to be an orange painted stone type thing um, As far as plans for my birthday go I haven't got any Not a one. I have singularly failed to Set up to do Jackbox games or anything like that. I've not I've made loose intimations to people that I might be up for doing that but I haven't actually made arrangements with anybody. Um, 
and I'm, I, I've, I've not even really decided definitely whether or not to do a stream. I kind of feel like I might because I've not got anything else to do. Um, but similarly, <clears throat> I'm not sure there's going to be many people that are disappointed. <laughs> um, so, yeah, uh, I feel no obligation to do so, but I might just for my own entertainment. Um, so yeah, don't know, no plans. Um, I will open my presents, or, you know, remaining presents, my presents from Rachel and her family, and presents that I've had saved from you and John. Oh, so this is the ticket booze. I think. Um, yeah, I should start writing on the bricks. <laughs> Just have a whole selection of things that got mum written on them. <laughs> be like, at some point in the future, someone will be like, why, why, why have all these bricks got names written on them? <laughs> Right, so let's try and get this in the right line. It's over one. Well, I could just start by doing it in the order, couldn't I? There we go. Oh, that goes there. And one more little grill piece. Nope. <laughs> Ah, oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, it's the turnstile. Right, so this piece, this piece, and this piece. There we go. Jolly nice. And then uh, some safety barriers. I've got a bit of an inconvenient reflection here. There's a safety barrier already on in this picture. Ah. It seems like I missed that some time ago. Oh yes, this step. Well, I think I missed it both times. There it is. No, nope. there. Okay. Two yellow one by fours, one by two, brick piece, one by four plate. Okay. I feel an arch coming on. Okay, one clear window piece. I'm not seeing that either. Not because it's in this bag. <laughs> I really did do terribly. Mm. 
Oh, so if this is the ticket booth, maybe the other one's the claim your photo booth. Or is this the operator's area, perhaps? Who knows? Just a little viewing space. Wouldn't be a very safe operator's area if it was. Oh, I've leaned back too far and got hit by the train. <laughs> um, so now some arches, big arch, and a little arch. There we go. Oh, oh I've done a lot of looking down. Oh. So what am I looking for? Blue and red pieces like that. One, two of each, one of those. There's the other one. Red piece and two white one by fours. So I put one underneath. And then, it uh, doesn't really matter whether it's the same way around they do it, I suppose. Red, blue, red, blue. White one on top, yes. And that's the canopy. Oh, it doesn't have a, very much the look of a ticket booth, doesn't it? Oh, I've not put that piece down properly. There we go. Don't get carried away, Kia. Ticket booth, yes, there we go. One, two, mm. Three of these. Right angle adapter piece. Okay. Um, sorry, I've, I've just seen you've said something in the chat room. I'll have a look in a moment. There we go. Tickets. Lovely. Um, you've been saving your remaining Christmas lager to celebrate with me. Oh, that's nice. Um, thank you. I'm pleased you're planning on joining me, which, whichever activity I end up pursuing. Um, yeah, I, uh, I should have sent you some more lager for Mother's Day. I wonder if they do do, like, lager doesn't feel like a good item to send in the post. It sort of feels like it ne needs a bit more care than that. Um, right, so I am looking for more two by one bricks and I'm not seeing them. I've got some right angly ones. I've got lots of cheese wedges. Oh, they're here. They're just disguised as being a big long one because I stuck them together. Um. Okay. Oh, I've made an error here because they're supposed to match up and they're neither the same height nor the same alignment. <sighs> oh dear. Right, so that is right, but it's supposed to be going on top of another one, so I should have placed a one by, oh, is that an owl? I've, oh yeah, I've, I've skipped a whole step here. Right, let's go back and find the step I skipped. It's a long way, here you go. 
Oh. Oh, I just didn't finish this off, apparently. Must have got distracted. One of these. Oh, have I put it in sideways as well? I might have put it in sideways. Or, you know, rotated 90 degrees. Yeah, okay, here we go. That shouldn't have been in there. That one should be in there. Two edges. Yeah, okay. And then this goes in like that. There we go. Okie dokie, not too much of a cock up. Drink for a cock up. <laughs> now this should match up. Bingo. Oh, okay. Oh, excuse me. <sighs> oh. had a USB UI for my sound going through the ashtray and that feels like a recipe for disaster. Suddenly the sound cuts off. What's going wrong? Oh, I've melted the wire. Yeah, I've not even listened to any interesting science programmes recently. I've sort of... I've been um, catching up on Oxventurer's Guild and their spin-off Blades in the Dark non-Dungeons and Dragons series uh, while sorting Lego. So I've been listening to that instead. I realise that's why I've not been listening to much else. I think the Blades in the Dark's partly been started because uh, their uh, Dungeons and Dragons games master Johnny is starting a patron. Um, where he's making games for people to play at home and doing, I don't know, other things. But I imagine he's taking a couple of months off working with them in order to uh, focus on developing those products, that content. Um, so yes, Oxventurer's Guild is taking a break from D&D &D till May. And so they've st I think they've started this Blades in the Dark to well, partly keep them entertained because they've got used to playing games every week. Um, but also to fill that content gap, right. I should have put a long grey one on there. Oh, and there should be a thing in there to fill it in. You see, the compare the pictures thing helps because every now and again, I'll scan the picture and notice that I've missed some bits. I imagine if I had a pile of pieces left in front of me, that'd be a dead giveaway, wouldn't it? Okay. So I think this is going to be a longer than usual session if uh, I carry this on today. I'm not that inclined to leave it hanging over for a whole week. Um, but I might do it on my birthday. I have got, I've ha have got birthday sets today, which, um, 
I've kept in reserve, waiting for my birthday. But uh, I don't know. We'll see what I end up doing. I'll try and decide by the end of the stream. How about that? I had been listening to a series called You're Wrong About Podcasts, but it was just really, really depressing. Um, it was sort of looking at news stories from the past and how the impression you're likely to have been left with just from taking the general news media uh, feed is likely inaccurate um, and trying to give a more nuanced and rounded view of the story. But usually it tended to come down to woman spends her whole life being abused by men then is exploited by men and blamed by men. <laughs> it just really depressed me. Um, so I had to stop listening to that. That was interesting. Um, I mean, one of the one of the things they were covering was the O.J. Simpson trial and crimes. Um, But in, I don't know whether it's a consequence of having had my understanding of it filtered by UK media or what, but I found that, well, I was going to say there wasn't much that, you, you know, my impression I felt was broadly accurate. It was depressing how terrible the LAPD's investigation was, you know, it just... I suppose that's what I was wrong about. However bad I thought it was, it was even worse. <laughs> um, and, and the other thing was that they knew it was terrible, or the DA knew it was terrible, as it was being terrible. Um, and, uh, yeah. But it was very, very, very depressing. So, yeah, I stopped... stopped. <laughs> I, th I realised there was no point finding out about sad stories of the past if I'm ignoring the sad, sad stories of the present. <laughs> um, I've been dreaming about Lego bricks. I was crocheting with multicoloured Lego <laughs> last night, having spent three days scrubbing and sorting bricks. Oh, Mum, if you're scrubbing them, you're putting a lot more effort in than uh, we normally do. Just mix them up with a load of washing up liquid and hope that gets it all off. Although this latest set of bricks we got was uh, actually really clean. It had a sort of general sheen of child sticky, which I was keen to get rid of. But you know, it wasn't, there wasn't any gunge. Um, and but obviously, I just wanted to sanitise it broadly. I resisted the temptation to go with Milton as I didn't know what, whether that would remove all the stickers and I couldn't be bothered to filter out all the stickered ones before washing it. And there are some good stickered ones, so I'm glad I didn't. Uh, you know, I'm glad they're okay. I've got to, there was a the Lego Friends Hospital, so we've got some nice x-ray uh, stickered bricks. Oh, I'm sorry, excuse me. Okay. Let's sort the bricks out first. So, two of them, two of them, one of them, one of them. Okay. Yeah, I tend not to remember my dreams very much. Um, I think that's... Wow. Let's 
consequence of the smoking, I suppose. Um, Okay, so this is a little control lever. Let's put it in the right orientation. We just came across one that went both ways, side to side and up and down. But I'm not sure if that's like a mega blocks lever or something. Um, so that's going on there. Yeah, with this big book, it's like the instructions are a long way from the model. <laughs> Let's try and do something about that. I shall pick up the pace again a bit. So I'm doing these ones. This one's to go on the core, and that one's to go on the end. It's not a very difficult puzzle, that, actually. I didn't really need the instructions for that portion. Um, one two and two wedges. Ah, so is this this part of the skull head maybe? Although I don't think that was in the castle now I think about it, so it's just another one of these archy castle features maybe. There's those studs that made me wonder. That goes on there, and then this one at the end. Nearly finished this box of parts, and I will... Uh... Oh yes, this is definitely the control station. Red light, green light. Uh, and another levery looking thing. So that wants to go on here. There we go, I'll move my... Oh, let's move the telephone back a bit. That'll make a little more space. I've got the uh, Dragon Coaster just under the desk here. Um, whoops, wrong way. Oh, I am going to have to have a stretch shortly. Oh yes, look, you see, I've moved and changed my shadow and now it's got all sparkly. It is my shadow that does it. Oh. <sighs> That's better. One by one break. But yeah, I think, I think I'll uh, have a little break when I finish this selection of parts. Um, I can't see where this is going. Oh, probably over here where I've been doing some building just now, isn't it? Oh, up here on there. There we go. Oh, and I put those pieces in the wrong way around. There we go. Some nice cheesy battlements. Aha. Uh -huh. Whoop, excuse me. Okay, so now we're going to pop some crossed swords. it. It's just going to need a little finesse to cross them over. 
Okay, how's that look? Oh yes, I think that's the right angle, isn't it? Um, little out of focus. Well, maybe I should just try and work out how to get the autofocus on. But then it wanders a lot as you wave your hands around, so maybe not a better bet. So a bit of fencing and more red and green lights. Oh. Unexpected alignment variation. My neighbours also seem to have set their smoke alarm off. Very sorry if you can hear that. Mm. I can't work out which side it is, but um, last time I thought they must actually be setting the house on fire because it was going on so long. They were just burning a load of incense, just, you know, big bowl full of incense, plumes and plumes of smoke off it. And I was like, well, okay, of course your smoke alarm's going off. <laughs> Have you heard of this thing called windows? Doors. But yeah, she just didn't, didn't seem very concerned. I look, the operator's, um, I've already actually assembled this door and gate, put its golden handle on. But uh, the operator's station seems to be pretending to be a prison or a guard station with its themed gate door. Very nice. Okay. Um. Ah, oh, so this is a lantern holder. Uh, that's that. Let's do it lap by one. Okay, so um, two, these two, one brick one, one white one. Have I skipped a step? I think I may have skipped a step. Yes, I skipped a step. So, huh. Like just adjust the angle instead. Getting rather tall. I hadn't realised I'd crept out of frame. Um. Come a little closer as well with the building, perhaps. Well, I'm supposed to have two of those, and I can only see one. Let's see the ones in this back. Just 
two light angle pieces and one two by one. Whoops, I've just pulled the whole thing off. A bit loose, that bit. Okay, and three cheese wedges to finish off the top. Then we've got a palm tree and a cannon to construct, and it'll be break time. A little bit of a longer first half as well, but that makes more sense if it's going to be a longer, longer go overall. So I need two axle, uh, well I pretty much need everything that's here, so let's just grab the bits as we go. So which way around they go, narrow side out. We've got a projectile warning on the instructions. They are fun, these cannons. I don't know if I've put the... Uh, I don't know if I've got any bricks to fire with it. Hmm. There we go. Um, go on, we'll use this one. I probably shouldn't, because... Uh, Whoops. Oh, it didn't go very far, did it? I think it's really intended for the cylindery pieces rather than uh, these studs, but I might be wrong. <laughs> yeah, not much of a not much of a risk of uh, it having your eye out, is it? Let's try it the other way round. That might be more effective. No, it doesn't want to fit in that way either. Well, it's lucky we don't have to fight off the barbarian hordes with it, isn't it? I can't, I can't see the uh, pirate base keeping, what would they be, like the privateers or something, the Royal Navy at bay, if they uh, happen to use that cannon. These are quite an interesting piece. Here you go, Rachel. Looking for an interesting piece for a Rachel dedication. That's, uh, they've sort of got a little handle and a rounded end. And they look like they'd be really nice for uh, architectural projects. There we go. Sort of all those uh, nice curves, but you could see them sticking out of a building like that. Nicely. In this instance, they're part of this palm tree. Right, so that way. And then one of these on the end. Oh yes, that's a very nice palm front. I do like all the sort of ingenious ways they make to, they come up with to model various things. Oh, I should check whether my uh, model's still in frame for the other camera for the time lapse, shouldn't I? Oh yes, plenty of, it's wide angle lens of course, silly man. It's got loads of stuff, you can see everything. Okay. Whoops. Is that right? Yes. 
Oh no, got that wrong somehow. It's all upside down. Um, there we go, that's how it's supposed to go. better. There we go. Lovely. I don't know where this gets stuck. Um, oh, on that, on that sticking out hook over here. So it's going to presumably take some finesse to make it sit in the right place. By finesse, of course, I mean swiveling and persuasion. Is that the right one? Yeah. Oh, well, I'm supposed to have put a camera assembly. Oh yes, that was in just the previous step. Spanner, clippy thing. Um, no, that's all, all the wrong way around. Mm, so you've just got to insert this in here. That's a feels like in some instances that wouldn't be a legitimate technique but it seems like these are designed to be able to do that I'll have to remember that well that's our camera point oh no okay yeah uh... Chaos and destruction. So presumably this camera wants to point more at the right than I've got it. So let's take that. And just none of this is very positively connected. Can't put a lot of downward pressure on it. Oh, I'll turn that completely the opposite to the way I was supposed to. There we go. Okay, one ride photo camera in position. Palm tree in position, just got a couple of flags to do. And a parrot! I, I really like this parrot. When I saw it I was, as I was uh, collecting the parts together. But I had forgotten about it momentarily. I seem to have a piece left over. So I wonder what step I've missed or whether it's one that I actually ac accidentally included twice. Okay, yellow stud, red box. Yellow overhang. It's just such a good little parrot, this. Overhang, overhang, green, to top. Oh my god, it's a bit stylized, but 
not nice. <laughs> I really like it. Okay, where are you sitting, Mr. Parrot? There you go. Oh, let's firm that piece back down where it's supposed to go like. So I think I've just got a few. Oh, I must have skipped some yellow wedges here. That's where they want to go. And where's that gold goblet heading, do we think? Scan the picture for a goblet. I don't see it. I don't see it in any of the steps either. Aha! It's in that step. So the goblet should be in here, tucked away. Oh, and that clear piece wants to be on the front of the camera. That's where that one goes. Okay. And I had a stud out of the bag earlier on, so we'll call that brown piece spare. And that's box two completed. Yes. Okay. So, um, let's take a break for approximately 10 minutes. Although, as you'll know, it's usually more like 13 or 15. <laughs> but I'll do my best. Um, I haven't got any interesting alternative video, I'm afraid. Um, so, yeah, that, 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 that. Uh, and I'm sorry you ended up watching the snail for 20 minutes, mom, um, but presumably you started at the beginning of the stream. Uh, so that is unfortunate. I'm glad you did fast forward and catch up. Um, yes, I will see you shortly. Okay, let's see, what have we got? Tea break. Um, okay. Um, yeah, here we go. Those of you, you've got the preview, so you'll be able to see when I'm back at the table and shuffling about with stuff. And I will see you in I cut my audio off a bit preemptively there, sorry. I will see you in about 10 minutes. Okay, bye bye.
we go. And we're back. Unusually a little bit early. Um, makes a change, doesn't it? I'm, I'm worried I'm going to run out of space to have the tray and the thing. I might need to have my parts, well, God knows where, on my lap. Who knows? Okay. So, steps 92 to 139 is this box. I labelled these all with Sharpie, but actually I'll probably end up cleaning it off and using them for something else. So that's one of the benefits of Sharpie. It's not really as permanent as they like to, excuse me, imply. So, this long piece and one steppy piece. Yeah, so I am running out of space. Let's, if we're going to come this way, we'll move the build over in that direction. And that wants to go there, is that right? No. I'm confused. That'll surprise you, won't it? Oh, right, there we go. Got it all rotated by 90 degrees. Okay. I guess Rachel uh, reminded me during the break that it is census day today, um, which we haven't done yet. I like to do that, Let's do my civic duty. I've always enjoyed doing the census. Um, not that I've had that many opportunities, I suppose. But I remember when uh, Rachel and I hadn't been together that long, really, I suppose, but at Park Hill, we did the census together, um, which was my first independent census as a householder. Um, I claim to be a Jedi. I may well claim that again this year. Part of the thing is that you have, you have to, uh, have to have another, enough other people for it to become statistically significant. So you need, there needs to be a whole movement of people for your fake religion. <laughs> um, but I should imagine I won't be on my own. I haven't noticed any campaign this year, but I've not really been paying attention to much UK media. Um, as I mentioned previously. Okay, so we're, ah, oh, this is the sort of splash mechanism. Um, So that's the eight long, that's the five long. And then it's these rectangly pieces. So that goes in that end and that goes in there. Um, oh, hang on. Uh, one of those, and then a spacer, spacer, one of these, Keep the orientation right. What's that want in it? One of those. Mm. 
no, can't. Another bush. And one more. And it's complete. Whoops. They want to go the same way. Uh, how's that attached with this, of course? And then we've got some water elements that are suspiciously like flame elements, but in blue and clear. That's fact, they're very nice, aren't they? Um, so this wants to go. Oh, in here on these pieces, like that. Yeah, cool. Oh, it's not very stable. Have I connected this correctly? Looks like it. Yeah, I think that's as good as it's going to get. Just have to be a bit more careful with it. Okay, and the track piece. Oh, so as the does, do you think the train knocks it as it comes past? Maybe. That's quite a clever idea. And um, that's the wrong way round. Is that the wrong piece altogether? Yes. Okay. I have, of course, got the other train. Here we go. Let's have the dragon train on there. It's the wrong train, but... Oh. Didn't do what I was expecting it to do. Oh, it won't fit. Can't run this train on here. The head crashes. Has to be the shark train. I kind of thought that it was supposed to, maybe the shark train has a little notch on the bottom that makes it stand down a bit further to catch that element, the splash, make the splash splash. Okay, that was a waste of time wasn't it? Right. And skip a page. Nope. Oh dear. <laughs> Yes, we're getting to that point where I'm going to run out of space. Hmm. Time to reorganise. I may have to go back to just using them, using the boxes and just have a couple of boxes or something. Um, because, yeah, I'm gonna run out of space for my tray soon. Okay, well, we'll leave that there as, as it is for the moment. Um, although, obviously, it's presumably gonna just continue extending in this direction. Uh, 
coming if there's no need to five. It's convenient. And one grey cylinder piece. I'm definitely going to have to come up with a different method. Um, because I am rapidly running out of space. And that wants to go here. Oh, now I should have put a grey smooth tile there, it would seem. Is that in my extras bag? No. Oh, there was one knocking around in the other room. I bet that's where that came from. Um, oh, well, I can remember that. And in the long term, it's likely to um, be merged with the other one. Although, having said that, if I can't fit the coaster through this one, they're going to have to remain separate, I suppose. My theme park's just going to have Two coasters. Like maybe. I suppose it wouldn't be too difficult to bung a few extra bits in to raise the arches up. Um, okay. So I should have two more of these, and I've only got one more. Oh, and I've got a left out one that's a double. Oh dear. I've got something wrong in the organising of this. That's um, not good news. Not good news at all. Well, there's not that many boxes it could be in if I'd put it in the wrong box. So. Is it quite important? Okay. Parts vary. My lovely wife. 
Can you see if you can find one of these, please? Um, there we go. So, sort of upwards angle. Um, if you want to just bring me the angles box, I can have a hunt for it. Um, okay. But I think I'm pretty much stalled without it. Let's hunt my parts in front of me a little bit better just to make sure. No. It wouldn't be the first time it had turned up right under my nose. Oh, I bet that's that grey piece I was after there. The tile. Oh, something. There we go. Um, right. Okay, let's just sort out the other pieces I'll need for the next steps then. Oh, I can do these ones. They're not contingent on the other one being in. They are just narrow ones, those, aren't they? Yeah. Right, bear with me a moment. Okay. Oh, I hadn't realised the focus was all horrible. Oh yes, because I'd um, showed Rachel the parts I needed. Of course, my apologies. Um, right. So it's not quite the right colour, but I think it'll, it's close enough and it just adds to the kind of rocky vibe. I don't think it'll be that obvious, especially given these other coloured pieces are going right on top of it. I expect the other piece will turn up, of course. Um, right. Yeah, definitely can't be trusted to organise my own Lego, it would seem. I haven't... I haven't done very well with this so far. Um, right. Yeah, it seems to be another one of these short. Maybe there just weren't enough in the set, maybe. I just don't understand. Right, what did I do? I should have... Oh my God. Rachel brought me some of those pieces, and what did I do with them? Did they go in the spares bag? No, that would have been too sensible. Oh well, I've got one here. I'll steal it from this. Um. Oh, I've already put it on. Plonker. Well, there it is, on there. That's what happens when you go back and forth with the steps, isn't it? If 
feel like I'm missing something here. Oh, no, that's the bit I needed. That's what I'm on about. Okay. Random wood piece it is. Would be better if I could have found that stone coloured one Rachel gave me earlier, but never mind. Um, yeah, I can't believe I did so badly with this, although I was doing it late at night on not enough sleep as I do too many things. Um, so it's probably not really that much of a surprise. And I wasn't, you know, I was watching YouTube and stuff, so. <laughs> really, I didn't set myself up for success. <laughs> there we go, one fish. Fish. Today's fish is trout a la creme. Enjoy your meal. Okay, am I just setting that aside or attaching it to the model? Just setting that aside for the moment. Um. Oh yes, Mum said uh, lots, lo lots of questions about how you identify yourself this year, and added a load of sexuality-based things. Oh, well, I suppose. Uh, Certainly, you've got to count people, haven't you, to know. Do we need to provide these services? Uh, no, that's the wrong orientation here. <laughs> that's not a comment on people's sexual orientation, of course, just these bricks. Not that there was a lot of choice, but it's worth checking it's the right length, isn't it? How am I supposed to put this in from the bottom? How's it supposed to go through there, though? Oh, I see. Okay, it doesn't. How many? One, two, three... Four, five, six. It's probably easier to do those one at a time. That's supposed to go down in there somehow. Oh, you know when you feel like you've missed a big chunk. So that goes all the way to the top. One, two, three, four, five, six. I, did I check it was the right length? I thought I did. It does an irritating thing where there's a whole bit that's hidden and you'd never get to see it. it doesn't turn it around at any point. So I don't know whether this is filled in or all open. It seems like it's open, but I can't I'm taking that brick away. Yeah, that seems to be what's in the way.
Yeah, I, I don't know. I think I'd got com myself confused at some point previously. Because that definitely, well, that sort of fits, but it feels like there's something missing somewhere, like a tile. Yeah, there's a tile's width missing. Yes, and I can see, I can see what I've done wrong here. Okay. There's supposed to be another round one in here. And then this goes on top. And then that goes on top. Like that. Okay, finally. And I've run out of space. But this is the point where the roller coaster turns the corner. Um. So, we've got the limit of the requirement for space, but I am about to start building out towards the book. <laughs> Oh, that was a bit frustrating. I don't like getting it wrong. Who does though, eh? I should have had a snack during my break. Um, okay. Yeah, the system breaks down when I start building big models, doesn't it? Sure, I've really followed. Oh, it's looking at it from all the other side. Let me spin the whole lot around and then it might make more sense and it'll be easier to um, access the bit I'm working on. This, this is, oh, you can't see anything. There we go. Okay. And now it matches the picture somewhat. Oh gosh, I am going to have to abandon using the tray though. I was supposed to, I think that's, that is just loose, loose cannon, <laughs> um, rather than being part of, you know, stuck onto the structure somewhere. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, they clearly are easier to stick on one at a time. I 
can have quite a lot of friction with the post. But they definitely need it because otherwise it would just be so fragile. Because the uh, the logs that I've got with the with the train car, they just fall apart all the time. It's a nightmare. Um, okay, gosh, this is a big roller coaster. The other one was a little bit smaller than I anticipated, but this one's huge. Okay, this is now turning the bend. I think I'm going to have to nip to the loo again. Hmm. Why is that not matching up? Oh no. <laughs> what have I got wrong there? Oh, is it the wrong piece altogether? It's the wrong piece altogether. Just made an error in track selection when I was gathering the bits. Um, I think it's this one. Yes, it's this one. There we go. So let's pop that one in there on the assumption that that's the piece that actually should have gone in that one. Now for turning the corner. Lovely. Yeah, and I have got one or two pieces left spare. I've got this piece spare, which suggests that there are the two that I needed somewhere else in the box, but I'll pop that in my spares piece. And I should have two blue tiles, but I think that that is step 140 and that's the next box. So I'm just gonna nip to the loo. Um, excuse me, and I'll be back in a moment. And I'm back. Sorry about that. So, uh, maybe I should try and work... I don't know where that's supposed to have gone. Out of the box. Well, there's not really a lot of space in there, is there? Hmm. Well, 
we'll put it in the tray. See how I get on persisting with this method. Maybe the book's gonna have to come into my lap. <laughs> Okay, so let's look for these to connect the tracks together. One there and one there. Lovely stuff. Oh, we're starting to make the back of a pirate ship now, by the look of it. Here we go. Oh, yeah, there's just not quite enough space in this area for this, this build. Not using my uh, standard method. Definitely wouldn't have been able to fit it down in the electricity cupboard there. Um, oh, I've put those on the wrong side. And upwards hook. Nice little arched window. Oh, where's the window piece? Twisted round the other way. Here we go. Um, Which light is it that's reflecting off there? Is that a useful light to me? Hmm. Yeah, probably is. I'm going to test it. Well, I've looked at the lights, so I can't see a thing. Um, I'm a little bit gloomier on this side, but it's not too bad, is it? Okay, stop faffing with the lighting. Can I see the instructions better? I can, good. A little bit. So where was I? Where was I building out a shot? Oh. 
I've skipped all sorts of pieces. That's what happens when you can't really see the instructions. Okay. Dark brown and wedge, that is. Green dot for here. Okay, sorry, slow pace there for a bit, but I'd got all a bit confused. I seem to be missing it. Oh, there it is. Excuse me. I will try and actually build in shot. Doesn't really spin very freely that. But it doesn't really have to. Okay, um bit of banister. Oh come on. Why don't you want to connect on to here? Oh, because I'm putting it... Am I putting it in the wrong place? Well, that's another drink for a cock-up if you're playing the drinking game. There we go. Um, and now this should fit. 
he says. That just doesn't quite seem right. So that wants to go there. Mm. <laughs> so how, ah, oh, I've got this so wrong. How have I got this so wrong? That piece is supposed to be there. There's supposed to be a gap. There. There we go. And then that piece connects onto there now. Happily. Oh, I've been doing it all out of shot. It's because I can't see when I'm holding it over here and it's not very good for my back. Um, let's move the camera a little bit. That's the answer, isn't it? We'll zoom out some more. Okay. Right. Where's the flag go on here? And this bit attaches on there somehow. That's in the wrong bloody orientation, of course it is. Back end of a ship. Click. Click. Is that really supposed to be sat at such a crazy angle? Or have I got something else wrong as well? Let's have a look at the picture. Oh yes, I think jaunty angle is the, because it's a broken ship on the rocks. Okay, we'll trust that and that's its rudder, not a flag. Oh dear, I'm getting tired, what time is it? 8.30, oh yes, I've done a couple of hours. Yeah, it's, it is looking good. I'm, I am just struggling with the sort of size. It's the logistics of being able to see the instructions and reach well and having created a rod for my own back by cocking up the organization. I have to have Rachel check my working. She's very good at that sort of thing. Meticulous. Well, I had a spare arch, didn't I? There we go. Definitely a build of uh, fits and starts.
Okay. Whoops. Smooth top step. Excuse me. Sorry to get all a bit quiet, but this bit was confusing me. Right, that that's right, okay, I see. That's one side of the boat. And where's that one sticking? I'm here. The side, similar construction but slightly different. Okay, so that's one piece, that's another piece. I want that bit. I need a brown square. Have I got brown square in here? No. There it is. And that hand lid part. It's got some cannons. Oops. Thing in it either end. Ah, oh, now that's not the right part. I remembered that. There we go. And at some point I realised I wanted the other one and I was like, oh, this, this isn't the right part. But I knew I must have used it earlier on, but there we go. Oh, time to make some sails.
Not the raggedy sails. Mm. Oh, it's got a very broken mast, bent in two places. <laughs> Oh, now I want this piece. Where's that piece on? And a black flag. There we go. Very nice. Um, this one connects on here. Also at a jaunty angle. Oh, you can't see. There we go. That was a bit better, isn't it? Sorry, I hadn't realised I was completely out of shot with that. It's the trouble with trying to get more of the building, you lose the structure I'm actually working on. Okay. Oh, right, I'm going to have to stretch again. Oh, oh it's look, I can try and open the prison door. <laughs> I should get myself a fake weather map and stuff and have a bit of a play with that just for some green screen fun. <laughs> I've been meaning to do some of that since I got the green screen. A magic carpet, that's the other fun one you can do if you've got, excuse me, a big enough one. So I'm not sure if this really is, but it does sort of go, I have got enough to let it go underneath. If I choose my, angle, choose, choose my angles very carefully, I could potentially get fully framed, surrounded by green. But I remember that from being one of the really, really great things about going to the various television and media museums I visited as a child. I'm thinking of Mommy and uh, the Bradford Museum, whatever they call it these days. Bradford Museum of Media or something, isn't it? Um, National Museum of Media and something or other, Bradford. <laughs> oh, gold, a pile of gold coins. Well, I can't see another golden cup. And the skeleton's not available either. Um, the skeleton is in with the minifigures bag. Let's have a look in the extras bag for a golden cup. Yes, there we go. Oh, but I can't give it to the skeleton if he's not there. Yeah, I'll fish them out later. 
This is a little, little pile of treasure. Oh, I see that hooks for the skelly to sit on. Um, yeah, I really don't know what I did with the box with the minifigures in. Oh, it's here. Let's find old skelly bones then. That's his head. There's an arm. There's another leg. Where's your other arm, mate? There we go. Then we've got a drinking pirate skeleton. He needs a pirate hat, doesn't he? Um, drinking pirate skeleton in our fish tank. There we go. So that's how he goes. I think he does just balance there, which isn't ideal, is it? Although it's not really the sort of build you can move around easily anyway, I suppose. <laughs> It's lucky uh, Rachel isn't working this week because I can at least stand, a, I do at least stand a chance of being able to leave it on the table to come back to another day. But perhaps this week we'll have a rare, not Sunday or Monday, uh, Sunday or Wednesday stream. I'll finish it off tomorrow or something. Because I'm feeling, I'm getting a bit achy. I'm tired now, struggling to concentrate. And there's uh, still a substantial amount to build, I feel like. What, well, hmm. We'll see. I think we've done the main structures. Castle and the pirate ship are the uh, the big structural elements. But yeah, we are rocking on for three hours, so it's not a surprise I'm flagging a bit. Um, uh, there. So, put the rod in. Oh dear, I can't get this to go on. I've realised I've not been letting uh, Eli know I've been going on to stream. Um, so that might explain why he's not been <laughs> watching because he's not, not been alerted. Maybe didn't realise that I was being consistent with the pattern. Similarly, Gaz, to be fair. Um, so there's a lesson in that, isn't there? Whoa, there we go. Well, that's definitely not one for the kids. Really tricky to get that on. Um, okay, navy blue. Oh, have I done the wrong number anyway? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, that's right. Okay, two more here.
Oh no, which orientation does that go though? Not that way. That way. Running out of space for the tray again. Oh, knocked the flag off. Yeah, I sort of need a smaller tray maybe. Lid. Okay. Hopefully that will work a little bit better for me. I don't lose any bits in the creases. Maybe I should have done it the other way up. There's still no space for the book. That won't stay because it's got the uh, fabric underneath it. I could have had um, some seaside -y picture, couldn't I? Make it be all seaside here. Um. Oh, well, that's not the right thing, is it, Kia? This is your uh, messing around with OBS portion of the evening. Um, hopefully this is going to work because it would be disappointing to have taken the time to do it and then it would be rubbish. Um, oh, why can't I see the image? I have got images of my own I could use, um, so it should be here somewhere. Uh, yeah, it popped up and then vanished from the list, that's really weird. Um, so we will cancel that for the moment. Okay, I'm going to give this another 30 seconds and then I'll stop messing about with it, I promise. Um, oh. Um, there we go, so that should have done it. I don't know why this is all popped out. I've broken all sorts of other things now. Come on. 
Okay, OBS is just being all a bit slow. Um, oh, I've added it to the wrong thing as well. I'm really doing very badly, okay. Did I say I was only gonna mess with this for another 30 seconds? Yeah, it's not bloody doing it. I don't know what's going on. Um, doesn't want to play. I didn't think I was doing anything too challenging, but for whatever reason, um, it doesn't like the picture. Okay, I'm going to stop messing about with that, sorry. Um. Yeah, it's very annoying that. Okay, maybe there we go i think it had some sort of copyright lock on it i hadn't downloaded it pro the proper way to not have the copyright thing um had a lot more than th an extra 30 seconds and I'm completely ignoring the chat as well because it's covered up with a picture of a beach at the moment. There we go. <laughs> okay, took ages. <coughs> but we've now got a badly chroma keyed in <laughs> beach scene. There we go, sorry about all that faff. Um, all right, where's my live stream window? There we go. Right, kept me entertained, gave me a little break from staring down at this uh, instruction book that is a bit too close to my face here. Um, little fishy, okay. keep on just shuffling all these parts around but I just can't quite find a way that I'm entirely comfortable with at the moment. Oh, excuse me while I wriggle about for the sake of my back. side. side and one on the other. This is creating a nice 
rocky, rocky thing. Um, rocky support, right, I've swizzled this round and hopefully it's completely symmetrical, I think it is. Otherwise, I was just making life really difficult for myself. Okay, so now two more on here, one like that. This is a magnificent crazy pillar of rock. Um, okay, so two. Oh, this is the this is the bit I'd forgotten. There was like there's like the whole skull's head bit as well. There's loads more to do, isn't there? Um, What do you think on balance about the uh, seaside background now you've got the opportunity to enjoy it for a bit? Was it worth the uh, several minutes of messing about or not? I quite like it. I think it's nice. It adds to the effect, doesn't it? Um, that was well worth the wait. Good. <laughs> So you might have already said that. I didn't look at the chat before I asked the question. Um, yes, I'm supposed to give a shout out to the uh, person. That was the deal, I remember now. Let me have another look at the web page. Um, that was, that was all, all Kelly DBV. Uh, downloaded from Unsplash. That was the uh, that's the requirement for my free download. Oh, I could have probably got a bigger size. Um, so yes, that's uh, at Kelly DBV took this photo. Very fine photo of some sand dunes. I do have similar images of my own, but I don't know if, if uh, yeah, I could. Uh, I don't know where they were on this drive, if they're even on this computer's hard disk or anything, so. Acquire one from YouTube. It's a better, sunnier day than the day I've got of sand dunes as well. It's a bit, bit bleak, the photo of mine. Um, excuse me a moment. Ah. Oh. Sorry, I need to reply to this. Uh, sorry. Should have dealt with this earlier. my uh, personal admin taken care of. Apologies. Um, right. Oh, I've missed a step. What a surprise. That's my catchphrase. If I'm, if I ever, oh, this is sideways as well. If I ever decide to make a t-shirt, yeah, I said a catchphrase had come come over over time, didn't I? Oh, I've missed a step. Is clearly mine.
Okay, so. And it's not very good building on this because it flexes. It's not a very positive surface. Ah, buggery. Although if it stopped me pressing too hard and exploding everything, it was probably a good thing. I thought I saw more than one thing fly off, but I can only I could only see one thing on the floor. I feel like it wants a stabilising square in there, and there isn't one, it's just these round pieces. But I think it would benefit from it, but I can't just slip one in because um, it'll make the levels wrong. Right. Oh, I don't understand. That's, I've put that one in the wrong way around, haven't I? Okay, okay. Let's try this again with slightly less pressure. I'll support it when I do it. See, for me, I think if I'd designed it, I'd have put something in to tie this all together across here or across here. Um, so rather than just having that one square tile there, I'd have had another one on top that tied across the whole bit. Because it's just, it's just all too flobby at the moment. I'm not sure what I'm putting on top of this, some bits that will tie it together a bit, but not one that goes all the way across. Oh, that's the wrong piece, Kia. Okay, that is now a sort of solid structure. It still twists a bit, but at least doesn't crumble under the slightest uh, brick placement. Not that my brick placement's very slight, but doesn't clum crumble under clumsy brick placement either. Okay, I've got some bits of seaweed. Stick this one in. Oh. Mm. Okay. I'm not going to worry about having skipped steps. I'm just going to do them. Oh, this is the step I'm on, actually, I haven't skipped a step. 
just didn't look at the wallet entailed. Okay, some more track. That's a bit wonky. Where's this going? It wants to connect somewhere here. We are nearly done, aren't we? Is that not the right piece? I bet it's not the right piece of track. the shape we were expecting. I'll tell you what's just occurred to me. Oh no, I could cause chaos and destruction. More chaos and destruction. There we go, more beach. It's like magic that, isn't it? <laughs> there we go. A little bit of bon bonus beach. There we go, our roller coasters. Oh no! Yeah, this is not an easy model to move. I should have um, built it on the tile. I've got a big tile that I can put models on. Um, and then you just move them around from the tile rather than trying to grab it by a random bit of the model and exploding it as I keep on doing with this one. Yeah, the, uh, the sandy bricks blend in quite well with the sand dunes really there, don't they? Okay, stop faffing with the green screen. So blue tiles to connect the tracks. I think it is a shame this one didn't have the train earlier on like the previous one did because it would be nice to have the train sitting on the track as we go through the next stages. Um. Well, I'm sorry that the time's knocking on a bit, Mom. I am keen to try and get this um, finished this time, uh, this session, I think. Well, we'll see. I, yeah, I'll just go back and forth on it. Um, but I'm at step 203 of 248, so there's only, there's not too many more steps really. Um, White piece goes on there. Oh, have I got that? That's in the wrong, that's the wrong way round. There we go. 
and a white piece goes on here. Okay. Um, well, if you do feel like uh, calling it a night, there's no obligation. If I'm, uh, you know, not done, you can catch up tomorrow. Um, okay, so here's part one of the skull head, I believe. Um, so two with holes in the middle, one without a hole on either side. Oh look, the seaweed's invisible. That's funny. I was half expecting my hand to show behind it, but of course that doesn't work. Um, yes, the, the seaweed's got keyed out. Oh well. It's uh, part of the fun of it, isn't it? Finding, I was wearing a green shirt earlier, or parts of it are green, but I think it was below the frame, so I wasn't showing invisible chunks in myself. One skull head beginning to very much take shape. I like that, these, uh, these sort of wreath round pieces being the eye sockets, just making them from square to round. Um, it's a bit more obvious in, uh, in the flesh than it is on camera, but I am looking very small on the camera as well so you know my view is very small with an even smaller key in the corner Eee, little key okay <laughs> am i going crazy so that connects on to here oh does that swing when the train goes through Oh, that is a good feature. Okay, so now the other side. And strangely, I've got one piece for it. And all these odd, odds and sods left over. Where have these odds and sods come from? How did they not get used? Okay, so that wants to go there without a doubt. Let me just review what previous steps I've <laughs> ignored. So I'm not seeing any of this brown gubbins. That all seems to have been left over from the pirate ship potentially. Okay, um, time for another toilet break, excuse me.
Okay. Right, let's put my ashtray somewhere where I can actually reach it. Last box. Not quite, nearly the last box. Penultimate box. So that piece of seaweed was supposed to go in there. Um, but that bit was supposed to go there. And these can all go in the bag of mysterious extras. I don't know how that box ended up with so many extra pieces in it. Most peculiar. Um, here we are, I'm going to have to fold the book back, I think. The, uh, the completed steps. Oh, right, and I was going to turn this over, wasn't I? The completed steps are now so heavy that they're trying to pull the whole book off the table. Okay. Oh, I've got a load of cat hair on my face. Upside down your wedge and that. There we go. Things always go to be go together better the second time round. Didn't swing as freely, but I think it is supposed to move out the way as the coaster comes through. Hmm, I think the coaster is going to have to move out the way a little bit. Um, let me see. Oh, yes, it won't fit under the laptop, unfortunately. Um, okay. Well, that's... There we go. Could just about make it all fit. Bit of a risk of tipping the whole tray off in my lap. So I'll have to be wary of that. Yeah. <laughs> um. Okay, so we know these work better. Let's try pairs. That's Where that dark grey cylinder comes in. It is handy having a bag that's just all the random ones, so when I can't find a piece, it's probably in there.
I was thinking about the uh, parts that I had missing previously with Lego, and presumably it's when their weighing machine or whatever hasn't functioned properly on one day and some have slipped through the net. So they'll know that, oh yes, those sets, we did have some that were faulty. Well, or maybe they do have ever such a lot of automation and recording and stuff of their processes, which you'd have to, to keep track of it all. One, two, three, four, five, six. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, you know, batch, batches and such. Um, I watched quite a nice video. I don't know, I think I probably mentioned it last week. But like, the, uh, the Lego story, I think it was called. It was a nice animated YouTube video. Um, all about Ole Christensen. Um, Okay, that's good news. Um, okay, and then lots of just connecting things together. Okay. Oh, no, I'm, I put that in the wrong place. Uh, did I? Oh, I see, there's two similar. Two similar constructions going into slightly different locations. Time for some hingy pieces. Oh, and I'm missing another one of those stony brick pieces. I don't think I can have left. I think this set must have been short, some of those. Oh, there's, there's one in here. I'll steal this one from this thing. I'm still definitely at least one down. And now there's that long grey piece. Well, it matters a lot, but there's, there's a principle involved, isn't there? Um, okay, so this then... Does that really go in there? Okay. Oh, I see. It does help get that spacing right, I suppose. There we go. Lovely. We are very nearly there, surely. Not too much longer now. Oh, look at all these orange pieces, Rachel. I not even really registered this whole selection of bright orange. Um, so...
this piece wants to go on there like that. Oh, and I've already stuck one on there. Uh, so we want one over here. Two studs. Yes, of course. Oh, the orange bits were to a very good end. Yes, I sort of started a thought and didn't finish it earlier, but talking about the Media Museum and they had um, a bit where it was set up was actually a blue screen. Um, which was more common then, for whatever reason. Um, and, uh, yeah, it was all keyed out so you could be like on the flying carpet and see it. Really, if it was these days, they'd have a means for you to, um, record a video or something they should have done that shouldn't they like cheap cheap videotapes and just record your kids doing their flying carpet thing three quid but you could have made it a like a vending machine or something they'd put a bit of thought into it you know start your recording now and then it just spits out the videotape when it's done after having paid the fee of course I bet you could have got like a five out of people for something like that, maybe. Depends on the people, doesn't it? It only has to be just enough of them. Uh, orange square in the middle here. <laughs> I haven't booked a trip to Denmark yet, no. They're not, they're not, they're not doing it until they know what, what, what's going on and I wouldn't, you know, it's not the sort of thing, it's not the sort of trip you want to gamble on, is it? Um, 2022, 2023 maybe? Maybe I'll do it for my 40th birthday. That'd make sense, 2022, try and go for March next year. That'd be a good thing to look forward to. Nice compensation for being an old fogey. Um, so. Yeah, the, the the leftover, because I sorted the, sorry, mum's put a comment saying the leftover brown bits might be for one of the other design options, which would make sense if I'd not gone through and put them into boxes following these instructions. Um, so I just don't know how I managed to put those all in that box with those steps, because there didn't seem to be any use for them there. Um, Oh, should these be doubly ones? No, that's the next step. Because, yeah, some leftover bits I was expecting. Um, orange tile. But not in... Uh, individual boxes because it should have all been organized properly but as we've plainly already seen i didn't manage to organize it properly okay next 
six step are doubly ones with two studs underneath. And a tile on top. Now I'm missing three little spanners. Hopefully, yes, look where they are. One, two, three. I think they've worked, well, I don't know if, because this is the primary design, there's not much in the way of leftovers from this, this design, or whether it is that they've worked quite hard to make sure that they all get used. I'll, I'll only know once I've had a crack at doing the others, if, if I do, although I probably will. At some point, if only uh, just run off got tired of it being this configuration. Oh yeah, it's definitely been worth the sorting effort. Um, it was driving me absolutely crackers on Wednesday, just having hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of bricks to look through. And there's just not as much space here as, um, oh, I've done that, that's back to front. Mm. No, that's right. Um, yeah, there's just not as enough, enough space here to really spread out and do it comfortably. Um, so I should have two more of those yellow studs with holes in, but I do not. Should I have only been using one? Yes. Oh dear, they're quite tricky to get off. So I should just have one, one spare one. One lovely little orange octopus. Almost complete. And that goes on there. Hey! That's really nice. Uh, yeah, so have that position like he's trying to grab the train. Lovely orange octopus. Olivia? Or shall we call it Rachel? <laughs> She's intelligent and resourceful. They're octopus attributes, aren't they?
She's not so good at squeezing through tiny spaces. <laughs> there we go. Blue piece there. Grey piece there. Grey piece here. And a blue piece there. There we go, one complete track. Marvellous. Um, let me adjust. I'll move out of the way. There we go. Very nice. Right, just the train to build then. Not too much longer. Um, oh, let me see if I can get the green screen back underneath it without completely destroying everything. What's that? Oh, that's funny. That's just reflecting the. That's my laptop sort of disappearing a bit, just reflecting the green. Um, that's convenient. Right, uh, train. Well, I've got missing one by two dark grey plate in here. Um, and there is one by two dark grey plate in there, so that's okay. And we've got all our passengers, park patrons and staff. I'm just going to grab a can of pop. Bear with me. <clears throat> oh dear. <laughs> Got a giant can of coke over my shoulder. Oh, it's because I zoomed the camera out, isn't it? I was thinking, well, that wasn't in shot before. I'll have to get myself some other little bits of green card that I can strategically um, place, blank things out. Although I think I'm probably just... Well, it's difficult because I do like the other background. <coughs> but this is loads better for this... Um, you know, being able to take up less, less space on the screen. Um, I've lost my lighter, but I think it's because it was a green one. <laughs> Whoa! That's why they say strike away from your face. Okay. Let's just pop all the wheels in the train. That's an easy step. I'll have to just bait the people up or go back to the beginning of the book if I want to have them as they were envisaged by the designer. So I think this train's theme is a shark. Um, I suppose 
I could have left it as a surprise to become clear as the model was constructed, but there you go. I didn't. Lost these blue wedges. Um, Piece. Yellow piece, brown piece. Oh, look, there's the uh, extras that I had from Rachel earlier. Whoops. Oh yes, now time for some teeth. Ah. <laughs> I suppose sharks don't really make that sort of noise. They don't really make any noises, do they? <laughs> so they thrash about, that's as noisy as they get. Um, oh, I seem to be, oh, it's not this orange one, so. Is it more teeth at the front, more teeth at the front? Of course, it's got more teeth at the front. Some more, some eyes. Um, okay, these little blue curves. And then uh, that gets attached into here, apparently. Doesn't look quite right. Why doesn't this match the picture? Oh well. Yeah, that should be level with that. Why isn't that level with that? Oh, the slightly different cars, look. Oh, hmm. oh, I see, I've just done it all back to front. There's a front and a back, and I've built the front at the back.
Why doesn't that fit? Because you're a plonker. Much better. There we go. Um, so what's next then? Go to the right page. That one's complete. <coughs> so <coughs> I don't know which way the roller coaster is supposed to go. This way, I suppose. Oh, I didn't activate the splash. I think maybe I have to activate the splash. Okay. Oh, I've missed some steps. There's some more bits. There we go. The shark wasn't quite finished. Had a slightly coarse nose. There we go. That's that all smoothed off. Next car, make sure I do it the right way around this time. What a plonker. Okay, oh, my back is starting to really ache. Nearly, nearly done. One should be another piece like that one. There it is. <laughs> Got the blue surface out just in time for all the bricks being blue. So it's just a load of wedges to finish the sides off nicely. Two. Two and a one. Two. Two. And a one. And then make a sort of shark fin. There we go. And the final car, I will build the right way round. The front at the front and the back at the back. Instead of having a front back. Oh, what? How am I one of these tiles short? There it is, in, in the bag of things Kia left out of the proper step. Past Kia was not on it. Okay, so now I just need to make a little 
little shark's tail. Oh, it clips on the back. Like so. Very nice, one completed train. Here we go, so, and is that the end of the instructions? That's the end of the instructions apart from the people. So we've got the little boy, he's already made up, so. I think he's probably too short to go on the ride, but we'll stick him in anyway. And he just has to stand up. And then Pirate Man has brown legs, which I, I was gonna say, I can't find his legs. And let's find the appropriate, oh yes, yeah, so that's the pirate face with an eye patch. And of course his bandana, I can't forget his bandana. Let's see if we can have him in the staff member's position without him getting hit by the train. It is a very perilous spot. I certainly wouldn't want to uh, have to work there. <laughs> yes. Let's stick him there instead. Oh, I've been completely in the way. But like the ticket spot's just here, right next to the track, and there's not really space for a figure to go there. So we've got a lady with, oh no, that, that looks, I think I've given the lady's face to a little girl at some other point. Because uh, this is a little girl's face by the look of it. But I don't know what happened to her. She'll be around in the other, um, in the other box. Maybe she's just very excited. Her print's not brilliant. It's all a bit, all a bit blurry. Although you won't be able to tell that well on that camera, I imagine, because um, everything's all a bit blurry. Oh, she's all, all a bit transparent. A bit too close to the chroma key colour. But I think that's the sort of smudged ink. Anyway, here we go. Arms up. You're on a roller coaster, dear. There we go. They can't go in the seats unless their arms stick. It, their arms are up. I do like this chap's top. I'll finish. I'll pop his head on. Oh, but first. I was watching a thing about Lego minifigures being made, and you see this black square? Oh, he's got a green top, so his t-shirt's chroma keyed out. See this black square on the neck? The neck square, as they refer to it as. And that's so once the, once the body, because the bodies are the same on both sides until they start printing them or they put the arms on, and so once they've designated, when they do the print, and so the body has a front and a back it gets the neck square printed on and then when it comes to going in the arm machine there's a thing that looks at it and says can I see the black square yes or no and if it, the answer is no it flips it round and so it makes sure that everybody's arms go on the right way round. Okay we'll give this guy his um, scaredy face Um, he's not not as keen on the roller coaster as everybody else. Um, so we've got some. Oh look, there's that bit I wanted that I couldn't find before. Um, I wonder where that's supposed to be. Somewhere horribly, horribly buried. Um, we'll pop these bits and bats in the spare, and there's a extra ticket here. I'll pop that in the spares as well. And then I can move this, um, move the tray out of the way. So, there we go, one completed shark pirate roller coaster. And very fine it is too. 
Um, okay, and this can just all go on the floor for the moment. And let's uh, see if I can spin this round without destroying it. There we go. Um, whoosh! Uh, with the extra mass, it does do a better job of getting from the skull all the way around to the station. Hey, there we go. Oh, not enough oomph. There we go. <laughs> Just got to get the right amount of welly. So if I could find a little way of putting a bit of a sweeper on there, or a chain pull. Classic chain lift. <laughs> Hasn't got, oh, it's only just got enough drop. Yeah, it stalls there quite often, doesn't it? Very nice. Right. <laughs> well, I found it very entertaining, clearly. Nearly 39 year old child that I am. Um, hopefully that will ease up a bit because it's a shame it doesn't swing back. Taps them all on the head. Bump, 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 bump. I'm not sure that would pass uh, real world health and safety standards. Right, um, what are the things? Okay, so that's the camera overhead. I can unplug that one. And um, let's just have a look at these lights, the LED lights. So, the, so it's three little bundles. The, the set, here we go. It's another early birthday present from Emma John. Um, the set is to light up the city hospital. Um, is its intended purpose? But I'm going to find interesting ways to do it. It comes with... Um, It's a, a light tailing set, by the way, and it comes with this. Oh, that will be handy actually, because it'll let me spread the lights out quite a lot, or certainly move it away from the original power supply. So this little USB splitter extender, low ampage extender, and then there's a, a sort of, I think it's like a AAA battery to USB adapter, so you know, battery case. But I could be mistaken. No, that is what it is. Um, so there's space for three AAA batteries in there and then a USB port there, which is quite a handy thing just to have because I mean, it, you could, there's no reason why you couldn't charge a phone from that using AAA batteries if you were in dire straits because I think I'm more likely to use um, like one of these big rechargeable batteries like this drill one I use or one of our other USB charger batteries uh, you know rechargeable USB batteries um, but we might as well plug the extension in for the sake of being able to have these so the, yeah, there's three different bundles. Um, this one has got some white lights, some flashing blue, some static blue, and some amber. 
Uh, oh, that's all a bit bright, isn't it? You can't see anything there. Um. Oh. How is it on the overhead camera? A bit better. Um. There we go. So if I cover up the white, maybe we can see there's some blue flashing there. And then there's some big white ones, a couple of big white ones, a small white one, um, and some amber ones. But they are incredibly bright. Um, can I uh, yeah, no, I was looking to see, but yeah, you can see sort of from the shadows how intense they are, well and also them just being completely blown out on the camera. Um, then so yes, there's the bundle with the blue flashing, some white and some Amber, and I think my intention with that one is I'm going to put that in the railway station. Uh, sorry, no, um, this one's going in the railway station. That one's going to be nightclub and maybe pizzeria. But so this one's all white with some. Oh, I can't. I can't see anything now. I can't see the screen. But yeah, they're just being all next to each other as well. It's all the more intense. Um, but you can see that's a. Sort of all white with some yellows on. That's a better way to show them, really. Um, and then there's this bundle that is um, some flashing amber and a flashing red and two static blue. So they're the, they're the ones and the other flashing ones that I was thinking to be nightclub, bar, dance floor type stuff. And they came in this very nice protective box to keep them safe in transit and until you're ready to use them, which is helpful. Um, so yes, very nice kit. Uh, and we'll have some illumination. Uh, let's go back to an alternative view. Okay, little cave up in the corner. Oh, we've got we've got clouds in the background instead. Oh, there's there's all sorts of strangeness going on with this setup, isn't there? Because we've got partial overhead behind. I don't, yeah, I don't know what's going on with that one. Oh, I suppose that's one where I did have things overlapping. Um, okay, bear with me a minute. I'll try and fix this. Um, oh, where's my previous view? We had it. We we had a reasonable view, didn't we? That was. There we go. Back to the seaside. Um. Oh yes, who knows what's gone on with this. Well, it's all a bit mysterious because um, I just, it, it, it's just how the previous layouts interact with the chroma keys that I've added and some of the things I'd sort of left another view that was hidden behind 
uh, but obviously when the chroma key comes in, it's no longer hidden behind. Um, so what I was going to try and do is um, let's hide the overhead and hide the clouds and add in the seaside. Um, which confusingly is not the one called beach. Let's move that to the back. And then make me a bit bigger. Oh, that's not the right one. Don't know what that one was. Okay, this isn't going to have been worth the effort, unlike the other messing about with OBS was. But there you go. It is what it is. Um, hey, big Kia! Or at least medium-sized Kia. Um, oh, I don't know, I like the other one. There we go, we'll leave it like that. Um, so, well, thank you for watching. Uh, Oh yes, the, the open back toilets at the other play in the other roller coaster would not meet health and safety regulations either. No, they are a bit. Um, they have, they live in a very liberal world in Legoland <laughs> or Lego City. So, well, thank you very much. Just marvellous um, roller coaster, and thank you very much for keeping me company while I built it. Um, it's been a much longer session today, but I think it was worth while getting this completed in one go. <laughs> um, I will have a, have a play and see whether I can adjust the track with the other one, although I think it being all so carefully planned, I'm better off just uh, planning to have two rides uh, at um, Kia's Legoland theme park which we will be developing up here to my right hand side um, okay yeah so I'm gonna call that a night there then um, thank you very much for joining me as always it's been an absolute pleasure and thank you again mom and John for this marvelous Lego roller coaster um, very very pleasing Little train that it is. Can we get it to just do its thing? Oh, not quite. Yeah, I'm gonna have to find a way to uh, make that 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 go a little bit faster there. Whoosh. It does just need a good flick. If you get it just the right amount, it does go all the way around. Oh. Right. Yeah, there's no need for me to keep you watching me playing with the roller coaster, though. So, um, I, I did, still haven't decided what to do. I will do, I'll do a short stream on my birthday doing the Lego Clown. Um, I don't know what time. Uh, I'll schedule it at some point between now and then um, to to fix the time so you'll have a bit of warning um, and uh, yeah maybe we'll have a call earlier in the day mom um, video call or something but perhaps I'll do it here so I've got all, all the cameras um, okay well I need to get something to eat I'm absolutely starving um, thank you very much for watching and um, 
I'll see you on Wednesday. Okay. Bye-bye. Oh, I've lost my sound. Where is it? There we go. Okay. Bye-bye.